possible hint of life has been found in the clouds of Venus. That hint is a gas called phosphine. It's toxic, it smells nasty, and it's thought to really only be produced from bacteria and from certain chemical reactions that can take place in the dense hearts of gas giants. But a planet like Venus shouldn't be making its own phosphine according to everything scientists know about it. Researchers weren't actually expecting to find phosphine when they pointed their telescope at Venus to look for it. What they thought was Venus would be a classic planet with no phosphine, and they could use it to benchmark future searches for phosphine in other atmospheres, because scientists had already suggested that phosphine might be a signature of life on other planets. But when they pointed their telescope at Venus, they actually found phosphine there. They didn't see the individual molecules in the clouds, but phosphine blocks light in certain ways that telescopes can detect. They then checked their results with another, even more sensitive telescope, and again, they detected that evidence of phosphine. Now, the researchers cautioned that this does not mean that Venus definitely has life. It's very likely that there's some unknown chemical reaction going on somewhere on Venus, either on the ground or in the clouds as the sun interacts with them, that is causing this gas to form. And it's going to take a lot more study and a lot more modeling to figure out how it got there. One issue is that phosphine actually isn't studied that often in chemistry labs because it's so toxic and dangerous, as one researcher pointed out. In the meantime, this is a very intriguing but not certain sign of life. I'm Rafi Lesser with Live Science. Thanks for listening.